Hello and welcome to this next chapter fit for dermoscopy. Now we will talk about actinic keratosis and Bowen's disease. And you know my diagnostic eye and we move now to the right hand side for the actinic keratosis and Bowen's disease. Bowen's disease as an in situ carcinoma. So you know this type of skin yeah, in fair skin and when you touch it is rough. Yeah? Actinic keratosis you can touch, it is rough like sandpaper. Remember this when you run your clinic. Yeah? And when we apply the dermoscope, and we call this a strawberry pattern by Iris Salaudek. She has inaugurated this in 2016 with whitish circles, whitish circles, a um, little bit reddish areas, and sometimes you can also see some dotted vessels. But the most important thing is are the whitish circles with reddish areas. And remember to a fresh strawberry, yeah? therefore this pattern strawberry pattern. And we wait, when we wait long enough, we get the hyperkeratosis. Yeah? So it's, this is actinic keratosis grade two. And then when we move further on, the hyperkeratosis are growing and growing. Yeah? So in the glance, let us compare the images at different stages of the actinic keratosis, this fresh strawberry, strawberry pattern, and then getting actinic keratosis more and more. And when we compare this with the strawberry, yeah, and they get not better when they lay too, la too long uh, on any place. Yeah? So remember this, and our issue is to move from stage three to two to one and to uh, eliminate the reddish area. In the, in the reddish areas we know um, there are uh, potential to move directly to the squamous cell carcinoma. So in our treatment has a goal to remove the hyperkeratosis and the reddish areas. So also Nice to know and important to know that this actinic keratosis can be pigmented. Yeah? And you see here this more and less uh, homogeneous distribution of pigmentation around the follicles, the whitish areas. And when you touch, remember, it is a little bit rough like sandpaper yeah? with these brownish circles, but the circles are more and less homogeneous as regular a little bit. Yeah? Here a little bit irregular, yes, but when you touch it, it is rough. And look here inside, we call this rosettes. Yeah. And these rosettes are four whitish dots um, um, arranged in a rosette. And always whitish areas, and we move here further on, always whitish areas is the hint for possible um keratin producing tumor yeah and remember an actinic keratosis can be a precursor of the squamous cell carcinoma yeah so we see the initial whitish areas from the keratin producing tumor and also here are some examples for pigmented or partial pigmented actinic keratosis yeah and here you see more and more whitish areas, whitish circles. Yeah, and here remember whitish areas, whitish circles, carotene producing tumor. That means it goes to the direction of the SCC, squamous cell carcinoma. And also these lesions can demonstrate a kind of, we call this dotted vessels in parallel lines. Um, and these are the hint for something is like Bowenoid or Bowen's disease. Yeah, also a little bit rough when um, palpating. Yeah, and so this move now into the um, definitely carcinoma in situ. Yeah, and also here you see more advanced. This is a clinic, and here more advanced is reddish tumors, a little bit with hyperkeratosis and dotted or glomerular um, like vessels in parallel lines. Yeah? And when you see this here and here located, remember, oh, this looks a little bit Bowenoid-like. Yeah? So I need to do something for this patient. Also here, reddish area, dotted vessels in line, 
always have in mind an amelanotic melanoma can have a little bit the same pattern yeah so when you see this they have both diagnoses in your mind in our mind possible amelanotic melanoma or bones disease yeah so the vessels are the hint for the bones disease but the histopathology is always demanded here yeah and also advanced bones disease so the vessels are growing a little bit hairpin like yeah a little bit chaotic and also some whitish circles here around the vessels so keratin producing tumor we know something goes into bovinoids carcinoma something like this the bones disease in situ carcinoma but nevertheless we need to do something and also here bones disease can have some pigmentation as shown here you see here a little bit pigmentation around the vessels here not clearly in lines but could be the hint so we need to do surgery to exclude the melanoma here this is always important and especially in this lesion only dotted vessels we see the vessels here when we look very closely we see the vessels here but eccentric hyperpigmentation with dotted areas at, at the periphery so we must ex exclude the melanoma first and we are happy to get the results only bones disease in situ carcinoma so with this knowledge, we move further on to the keratoacantoma and squamous cell carcinoma. Happy to see you soon. Bye.